The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, Inu Tabi here, and this is kind of like a, a, a freshman, a noob, whatever you want to call it, uh, actual showing of 3D printer that I got, the Neptune 4 from Elegoo. I've been wanting to get one for a while. I had gift cards from uh, Amazon from Christmas, uh, and I didn't want to like spend a whole lot of money, but I wanted to get into it. I thought this would be a good model. It's, it's from what I understand, pretty quick out of box. They didn't get the pro version. Uh, this is just a starter, I think, if I really like it and want to get into doing larger. The plan is to, like, do G.I. Joe classified stuff, maybe Transformer stuff, things like that. For me, it's not going to be a business thing because I just I don't have the time for that. But uh, this is for me to make things, make vehicles, make accessories that I want to do that other people haven't made that I think might be cool for me. So that's my idea. Uh, I want to thank Larkin, Hoist, uh, Firetox, all those guys for helping me. Uh, you know, chose this one uh, after this might be the bamboo P1S and, and go into that. But uh, definitely going to start off with this. It comes in the box, got it from Amazon, used the gift cards. Didn't really cost me anything except for a spool of filament. I got some PLA Plus from Elegoo. And uh, that's it. I'm, I'm, I don't know a whole lot about 3D printers. I've watched a ton of videos from Vlad and Jesse and you name anybody that does like 3D printing and decided to pick this guy up. So this is... You know, if you're interested in 3D printing, you know, just go for it. Try it out. That's what I'm doing. I don't know. How, however it turns out, it turns out. But uh, once I get into things like this, I dive into it. I do a ton of research and uh, I try to really get involved. But this is it. This is the box. This is the way it comes. And uh, it's a brown, paper, brown box here. You got two choices, Neptune, Neptune 4. And then that's pretty much it. All right. So let's come back and we'll take a look as I unbox it and kind of put it together all right so i went ahead assembled everything and uh printed a bunch of stuff on it at least six seven eight prints and i've had no issues with anything i printed but this is basically it assembled here's the lcd it comes with a pair of snips get the sheet here which i use for the uh setting up the the printer uh we did the, the first run through. You get a spatula. You get some different pieces here, different nozzles, and then your manual like that. So this is the fully assembled. I didn't want to show all the assembly. You can see that in a different video. This isn't what it's about. This is a, a, a newbie who's never really used a 3D printer at all and their impressions of it. And I'll actually show some video coming up here of me printing um, a GI Joe vehicle which uh, it's a sidecar for G.I. Joe classified vehicle. I only have one spool here of filament. This is Elegoo. I'm gonna try to stick with Elegoo stuff since it's kind of set up for the printer, I think from what I understand. So yeah, I've had no issues. This is normal running volume. Uh, I guess you can hear it here in the volume, but when it's, it's running, those fans on right there, come on. And it, it gets it gets a lot louder than I thought, I'll be honest with you, but uh, you know, it's not bad. This table is shaky as I don't know what, but it has not stopped it from printing perfect. So, I mean, this is, I don't know if you can see that, but this is not, this is not a sturdy table, but it has done a, it's done a fantastic job. I, I can't say a bad thing about it. So it's, uh, the only issues have been on my end and uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more while it's printing, but uh, it's just from not understanding how to lay out the prints on, on the board and, the way things should be turned, flipped, rotated, support, stuff like that. That You know, it's just a learning process, asking people questions like I have no clue and I uh, figured out a lot of stuff too. So, but yeah, the only thing I could say is mine came with this kind of clip here, if you can see it. And the videos and instructions show just basically a, like a hook clamp, like a loop. And this is a lot different. I reached out to Elegoo on Twitter and uh, they sent me a video how to install it and, and how it should look. And that's fantastic customer service. So I can't say anything bad about that. But yeah, that's it. Assembled and, uh, you know, 
I think it's pretty cool. It's got lights up here on the top and the light also here. If you want to do that, you can see that. Uh, that is under settings and then light control. And I don't know if it's called. You got. Let's see if I can get it. Get it to go while I'm doing this on camera. So there's that one. And you got the. The one under the here but if you can see that there you go so i usually don't run with those on because this room has got you know enough light to not but there's the control panel touch controls just go in there here print uh select your your print that's all stuff i printed pick it it runs and you can increase speed all that stuff a lot of things i just have no clue on i'm just learning as i go but it's been a lot of fun so cannot complain fantastic printer it, it really rolls fast you can crank up the speed uh, on certain things it it, uh, it really rolls but let's uh let's go to the video next and I'll actually show you printing the uh, sidecar for the gi joe classified ram there is the elegoo 4 neptune 4 printing uh these fans here on the back are running full blast and you can feel the air out to here i mean these, these things are rolling uh, this is about a seven hour print I have not had any issues with anything I've printed so far in the last two weeks. Uh, everything has been great. No issues. The only thing I would say, um, basically to me, is it is a little louder than what I expected. Uh, but, you know, with these fans running, it may be helpful. I, I don't know. You can turn it off as well. Uh, there's different settings. Don't ask me. I'm not an expert in none of this stuff. This is the first printer I ever bought. But I can't say nothing but good things. Uh, Elegoo even reached out to me and helped me fix the uh, little attachment piece here for the cords on the back because it's different than the directions say. It's a different piece entirely. And they just sent me like a little video. And it's like, wow, that's super simple now. I understand what you're doing. But uh, here it is running. It's doing a, a great job. And I can't recommend a printer, you know, enough. I was going to go with like a bamboo. Uh, to start off with, but honestly, uh, you know, you kind of need to get your feet wet and understand things. I really had no understanding how all this stuff worked, but thanks to Orkin's Lair, Firetox, those guys in the 3D print chat have helped me out a lot to understand uh, how to turn things in Cura and, and turn them so they print in the correct way. That, that to me, is the biggest, biggest thing to understand. It's not necessarily all the technical stuff. is the 3D, you know, slicing and how things should look and which way to turn them supports and stuff like that so uh that has been the biggest thing for me to learn uh, going forward but yeah this is uh this has been fun so we're gonna see how this car turns out this is a side car for gi joe and uh the printer i can't recommend it enough if you don't have the 3d printer and you think about jumping in this one it's got a lot of functions it's able to print pretty fast speeds can go up to uh, 500, I think, if you want it to. I haven't increased it more than 110% on the printing just because I don't want to you know, mess anything up to start with. I don't want to print pretty smooth, but we'll see how it goes. It may bump this one up a little bit. Anyway, guys, thank you for uh, checking out my review of the Elegoo Neptune 4. Uh, it's been a terrific printer so far. No issues. I'm sure there's going to be some, but for what I've done so far, I can't really say a bad thing about it. I picked it up off Amazon. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below if you want to order one through there and uh, check them out. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you down the road.